Welcome everybody to another round of World of Tanks subscriber replays. My name as always is Maxwell and today's first video is from the user Dino95. That's Dino95 and he's driving the KV-5 on an assault battle on the Siegfried line. KV-5 being the tier 8 premium heavy tank for the Russians. Don't see this one very often. It used to be a little bit... Uh, more popular back in the day until everybody worked out exactly where its weak spots were which was uh, this giant radio operator turret right here which you can pretty much guarantee to pen every time no matter what gun you are using so this thing tends to be a little bit of an acquired choice if you're able to hide that and angle pretty well then you can generally do pretty well with it in combat. To be honest, sometimes it's a lot safer to present side armor to your opponents than it is to present front armor. And uh, oftentimes you find KV-5 drivers reversing into battle just because, again, that rear armor is uh, a little bit better to rely on than your front armor is. So Dino finds this AMX AC straight away, gets a good hit through the side of him. Looks like he's looking at somebody else. Nope. Not anymore. Was looking towards that KV-3, but now looking towards the KV-5. Although, to be honest, Dino going to have a better job of... A, a better um, time of this battle than the AC is. Has another shot and decides to back off. It looks like the first shot that the AC actually put into him, uh, you saw him having a look there, was actually in the... Straight through the front of the gun mantle, you can see the super pershing because he's injured the radio operator. Obviously, he's put a shot straight through that little uh, little turret at the front. He's taken hits from the side as well, and that's eliminated his commander. Looks like that was taken out by the Indian Panzer. So you're going to have to be careful here. Luckily, somebody else has got the attention of this super pershing. And the Indian Panzer also looking somewhere else. Uh, luckily, he's gotten his side armor presented over there so this being an assault battle all the enemy team has to do is just hold off the attacking team here but it looks like in the south at least they've actually pushed out pretty strongly and pretty far and uh, the only person left over here now is Dino and he's going to have to do a, a sterling job to try and hold off three tanks here a T-44 Super Pershing and an Indian Panzer and I think there's a 3601 down here so actually it's going to be himself against four tanks so going to have to be careful with this one. Just sets himself up behind the pillbox. Going to see who he can spot out. Does see that T-44 who has uh, gone for the artillery in the end there. To be honest, that artillery should have been running a long, long time ago. As soon as he first noticed that T-44 was coming in. But it looks like that he, uh, a lot of artillery players stubbornly refuse to give up their positions. Can he get one more hit on this T-44? Indeed he can. And that is kill number two now for Dino. But uh, at least the T-44 got the artillery piece. So his job is done. But that does still leave three tanks down here. Super Pershing, Indian Panzer and a 3601. Hopefully a couple of them have looped back towards the city to do some defence. As the Allied team's pushing in quite strongly. Super Pershing just comes charging around the corner there. Presents full-on side armor to the KV-5 for some reason. Super Pershing has got some fantastic front armor, but for some reason he came all the way around the corner presenting all of his side armor just to try and get a shot on the weak spot and gets himself taken out. Actually looks like the Indian Panzer has decided to flank all the way around now and uh, come around behind Dino. But luckily, the rear armor of the KV-5 holding up strong. He's got some allies firing shots in from the town here. So uh, hopefully he's going to have a an easy time dueling with this Indian Panzer. All he needs to do really is just push forward. Oh no, he's taking hits from that 3601, which still looks like he's stubbornly camping in the south of the map for some reason. Even though the battle's going pretty tits up in the city. Dino just got to be slow and steady here. Keep his radio turret hidden. What he needs to do really is just trust in his armour and charge around on that right hand side. Just to force the Indian Panzer to come around the left hand side. And then that would allow his allies to fire down onto him and take him out. As it is just not having that much faith in his armour or his allies at the moment. Especially because... The oh no, I was going to say the Indian Panzer got away with it. But he didn't. He took a big hit there. 
getting taken hits from that 3601. But again, just got to trust in his armor, which indeed it looks like he is doing this time. Bounced another hit, and he's finally able to take out that Indian Panzer without taking any more damage whatsoever. That VK-3601 not having a good time of getting any damage here. And uh, indeed gets a shot through his side. Just got to wait for his tracks to repair. There we go. Still taking hits from this 3601, but again, not getting any damage whatsoever. And it's now just a, a case of trying to chase him down. Although I think the 3601 is going to be a little bit faster than he is. Oh, absolutely brilliant blind shot on the move there by Dino. Taking out that VK3601 after he faded at the fog of war. While he was behind terrain and whilst on the move. So it looks like the god of luck is smiling on Dino today. Because that was a fantastic mixture of luck and skill and timing to be able to take that shot and take him out. So actually, game not looking totally uh, won. For some reason, this IS-3 wanting to just drive into the KV-5. Not really sure what's up with that. One thing I will point out, though, is if you have a quick look in the top left-hand corner, the frame rate that uh, Dino's been having for this entire game has been hovering around 10 to 15 frames per second. So being able to pull off this kind of play with uh, that kind of frames per second is pretty damn fantastic, to be honest. Just got another shot to take on this 30-01, and that is kill number six and a Top Gun medal. Before he went down, I was going to say game isn't all but one, but uh, after taking out that full health 30-01, there's just this IS-2 left against uh, the three allies here, and even if the T-44 gets himself taken out, there's no way that IS-2 is going to be able to whittle down a KV-5 in time, not with his 79 hit points. And in fact, that T-44 does indeed take him out. And that is all she wrote for the enemy team. So absolutely awesome replay there from Dino95. Picking himself up six kills, a Top Gun medal, and almost certainly a steel wall there. So thank you very much for sending that replay in. As always, stick around because there's another game and the score screen's coming right up. Our second replay of the days from the user Epic Rabbit 95. That's Epic Rabbit 95, and he's driving the T54 on a standard battle on the south coast. T54 being the tier 9 medium tank for the Russians. This thing is a total troll tank. Uh, even with on paper not having fantastic armor, it's still able to bounce some awesome shots. Uh, this thing's pretty much as troll as the E75, which is why I'm working on one myself at the moment. So anyway, the two T-54s straight away rush the center and just try and catch anybody out that they can, moving into a less than advantageous position. Not really able to find anybody else here, so we're going to be transitioning to the right-hand flank. Uh... Epic Rabbit deciding to try and take a shortcut up this little hill here, but turns out not to be too much of a shortcut in the end, as his platoon mate is a lot further up the field just for taking the longer route around. Spots out an A44 here. One of the rear turret mounted Russian medium tanks. It's a good hit on that T21 and takes him out in pretty quick succession. Uh, two of them just... Uh, Pounding down onto him, this A44 has seen the light and decided that discretion is the better part of Valor and decides to run away. This uh, AMX 12T just getting in the way a little bit here. Uh, not really sure what he's trying to achieve. I don't think he's going to be able to get the high enough ground to be able to fire on either of these two tanks. This A44 may actually get away just because the other T54 not really wanting to push down this AT15. Uh, as that thing does have some pretty ridiculous armor. But as you see, it doesn't really have the penetration to be able to hurt the uh, T-54 flush on like that. Gets a good hit 
through the turret there. Going to be able to put a second one in just uh, all the way through that weak spot. So these AT tank destroyers may have great armor on paper. And from a distance, they can be really troll. But up close like this, as you can see, just put consistent damage through them. And they spot out the GW Tiger here. And uh, this 12 team may be able to secure the kill. And indeed, he can. But as you see, the platoon doing pretty well for itself at the moment. One kill each. This A44 still alive. Looks like he's doing some kind of fighting retreat here. Trying to keep the guys spotted as they come in whilst retreating. There's a WZ coming to assist them. But he just wasn't quite quick enough. And the A44 stopped running for some reason. And uh, gets himself eliminated. And that is Rabbit's second kill of the match. So this WZ just refusing to come down off the hill. T-54 not really got the gun depression. Uh, that's one bad thing about this tank. So he's having to put himself right over the top there. Actually gets out the way, but it looks like the WZ shot that missed the T-54 actually hit the uh, the 12T in the background there. So a little bit unfortunate for the 12T. A little bit lucky for Epic Rabbit here. 12T just making a nuisance of himself here, getting in the way constantly. Uh, luckily though it looks like this WZ is hungry for the score, hungry for the kills on the board and uh, is just focused on trying to take out this uh, AMX 12T rather than taking out the larger threat of the two T-54s which are pounding him into the ground at the moment. So the two of them just able to circle him and take him out no problem whatsoever. IS-8 comes around the corner. He's able to get some damage through. And a KV-5 appears on the ridge. Going to try and keep him trapped while his ally tries to put some damage through him. Looks like he's got the reload speed to just be able to keep that track damaged consistently. Although it looks like the KV-5 may actually have slightly faster repair skill. Not able to get any damage on him just yet, but is able to keep him tracked pretty consistently. But it looks like maybe this one more shot. He does have the underplate now, so it might be a better idea. There we go. Puts a shot through the underplate rather than trying to take out the track again. And now the two T-54s here have got this IS-8 and this KV-5 to deal with. Luckily... They can get the weak spot of the underplate of that IS-8. Both of those T-54s consistently hitting him there. And uh, just whittling away on his health. And that is kill... Well, that wasn't actually uh, Epic Rabbit there. That was the other T-54, the platoon mate. He picked up his third kill. Managed to track the KV-5 out in the open here. KV-5's just absolutely screwed now. Does not have the turret traverse to be able to keep his gun on target so really one of them needs to be tracking this guy because he does have the body and turret traverse stopped reversing a little bit early there if he'd continued to reverse and just squish himself up against the WZ's corpse there may not have gotten himself taken out but as it was stopped for a split second and there uh, Epic Rabbit was able to get alongside and get some more damage on him and that was kill number three for him and it looks like, actually looking at the platoon, that is Brothers in Arms. Picking up a good three kills each. Epic Rabbit's done a massive 5,000 points of damage here. But uh, just keeping his eye on this T-28 prototype. The T-54 doesn't have the best penetration in the world, so... In fact, we can just double check that. I think it's about, yeah, 201. So not got the best penetration in the world, so got to be... Uh, got to be pretty careful where you put your shots. And when you choose to fire, as you see there, looked like he was going to try and get a shot through the side of the T-28's turret, but that one just ricocheting. There's a, a T-26E4, for some reason, camping behind a rock in base. Not really sure what a medium tank is going to achieve there. Let's be fair to him, though. He could have come back to try and defend the base. He may not have been there for the whole game, but let's also be fair. He's probably been there for the whole game. Oh, been set on fire. And that is kill number four for Epic Rabbit. And that just leaves the one lover left. It looks like he's dueling with the platoon mate in the 5120. And to be honest, if one of them can pick up this lover and get the kill, that is going to be a crucial contribution medal. So hopefully this 5120 is reloaded and can pick up the kill before that KB5 swoops in and steals it away. Epic Rabbit not... Epic Rabbit did, I was going to say, doesn't have a shot on the Lurva, 
but fires through that brick wall and he's able to pick up the kill secure on the Lerva. Five kills, five and a half thousand points of damage, brothers in arms and a crucial contribution. So absolutely awesome replay there from Epic Rabbit 95 showing off his skills in the T-54. So thank you very much for sending that replay in. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like or favourite. Stick a comment in the comment section below letting me know exactly what you thought. And if you're not already, please consider hitting that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. I have been Maxwell, this has been World of Tanks, and I will catch you guys next time.